Hey dear fellow collectors, today I got a new video for you and I'm extremely excited because I've been waiting for this and crossing my fingers that I get it. And no, it's not the one you see here in the picture, it's a different one. Um, it's only being sold right now currently at Comic-Con. I do live in New York, so my friend picked this up for me. I asked him to please, please, please check. So this is the variant of Exorcist. This is what the back looks like. Here is the front. Look at the little window there. And it is a Mezco exclusive. So the only way to get this was either on the website. They had it for, I guess, a few hours and it sold out so extremely fast. But if you go to Comic-Con here in New York City, if they have any available, you'll be able to grab one. So let's open it up and take a closer look. All right. Oh my god, this is like so exciting. So, so exciting. I can't wait. Okay, let me take some time. I'll be right back in a second. All right, the plastic is off. This is what it looks like. Look at the window. Absolutely amazing. And again, the art piece in the back. Amazing. And then you have the information here in the bottom. And let's take off the lid. This is what the inside looks like. Just like that. And it looks like this. You got that. And I want to take this lid off. Like this. So when you remove the lid, you also have the accessories inside here. As you can see, the additional head and the head part right here, the scalp. And then you have some additional hands here with the little sign and the little mask. Now, when you remove this, Straight there, okay. So when you remove it, you get the instructions, and in the back, you can see here's the blanket here in the back. So you have that going on. It's just simple instructions. I already know how this works, but yep, this is what the instruction looks like. So in case he was looking, you know, wanted to take a quick peek, just do that. I'm just set this on the side and this is what it looks like when you remove it from the box let's take off this lid and oh my god this is so freaking cute i will say this the head is heavy just like the other one super heavy i mean i'm extremely heavy but oh my god look how cute the little tail is I love how soft the fabric is, it's really nice. You got some plastic on the hands, plastic around the face to hold uh, the hair down. This also helps to prevent the doll from getting any staining because she's wearing black. Um, there's the bottom of the feet. I'll give you a quick 360 here. Oh my God, look how cute that little face is. Let's take off the hood so you got it like this comes like that absolutely amazing i love this okay so let's take this off it's right off like that look at that oh my god i love love the face it's absolutely adorable amazing so as you can see here, um, it is held with Velcro, just like the other one. So you can see what it looks like, like this. It would have been really cool if they actually made everything like green to kind of match the face because it glows. But yeah, so she has the plastic to prevent from staining. And as you can see, the plastic, I don't know if it's the plastic or the doll itself. See, so you see my doll, mine has a little bit of staining on the on her so yeah mine has a little bit of staining on there but it's okay because i'll keep the plastic on why oh my god look at the, look at the hair it's so freaking cute 
Wow. Let me zoom in so you guys can see a better look. I've seen other people do reviews, but they don't really go close the way I do. Look at this. Look at the cracks. Absolutely amazing. Look at the hair. Blue. Give you a nice little profile like this. A nice profile like that. And the little hands. You can see it right there. Let me take, if I could take this off, did this come off? Okay, so the plastic, okay, I could just move the plastic up like this, you guys can see it. Look at that, super freaking cute. So what I will have to do, I will have to take a pair of scissors and cut a little bit of the plastic off. But I'm definitely gonna keep the plastic on the, on the body so I won't get any further staining. Yeah, I don't want that to get damaged. All right, let me put her down and let's look at the accessories really, really quick here. Okay, so like I mentioned, you will get the little cute hat. I mean, the mask, not the hat, the mask. You get like this. It's the same thing as the other one. Only difference is that this has a, um, a different uh, face paint to it, a different color. Super cute. Here's the back. And then you also will get, uh, this is the other portion here, which would be the little blankie, the little binky, however you want to call it. Look how cute this is. Look at the detailing. Oh my God, it's so cute. I love this. It's super soft. Oh my God. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. And then we get the additional head. You can see right here. This is the face. See that? Cool, right? This is the inside. And then the back part of the head. It looks like this. And then we have the part of the skull. The top of the head. With the blue hair. It's tucked inside like that. You know, you just take it out, fix it, and style it however you want. And then you will get your little sign. You can see right here. Like that. Looks like this. It's plastic. This is made of like some type of like cardboard material. Let me zoom out a little bit more. Yeah. But it looks like real wood though. That's really cool. So yeah, it looks like really like real wood. See, it's kind of bigger here and it goes really thin on the side there. So we have that. And then you have the additional hands right here. So she has, let me take them out. She has additional four. So this one is the grippy hand. You can see right there. You can use it to hold a sign. Then she has this one right here with the hand a little folded in. You can see the little detailing in the nails, like it's dirty. Uh, same thing with this one, but this one is also a holding hand. And then she has this other hand right here. So you have a total, what, two, four, six sets of hands because the ones that she comes with as well. So we have that. Um, let's look at it side by side with the other exorcist. Right, so here's the other exorcist that I have. And then you have the very right, right here oh my god i can't believe i have them so just a little a little um i want to share something i these dolls don't come with stands so i actually used a rainbow high slash shadow high um doll stand and it actually fits really well i love it it grips onto the doll perfectly so if you guys have any of those stands laying around you can use that to stand the doll although that some of them can stand on their own you just need to have a good surface but this one is a little tricky because this one does have a material on the bottom for these but but if you want to secure it not having them fall unless you use some other type of stand if you have any rainbow high monster high stands you can use that to put your little living dead dolls on there so oh my god i'm so excited that i have it i can't wait to take pictures i want to say thank you so much for taking the time to watch really quick it's super fun to have these dolls this is the biggest challenge too for a lot of people was putting on the hoodie so you could just either go like this i don't know if the hair gets messy a little bit to be honest look at that 
because you could just tuck it in and it looks like that look at this hi <laughs> i love this this is freaking awesome let me get the noose right here the buttons the buttons on this one is a little bigger than this one i noticed that yeah see that the buttons are bigger on the black one than the white one yep there it is Thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful and I hope you get your hands on one of these. This is amazing and I'm looking forward for the uh, other releases that are coming. So be on the lookout. Have a good day. Bye.